The Ugandan business community operating in South Sudan is a worried lot following the withdrawal of Ugandan troops from the country. KTN Solomon Serwanja spoke to Ugandan business and, and tells us why a step in finding peace in Southern Sudan is turning out to be a source of concern for the traders. Uganda has started withdrawing its troops from South Sudan after close to three years in operation. This in accordance to the agreement that was signed by South Sudan President Salva Kiir and rebel leader Dr. Riek Mashar in an attempt to restore peace in the war-ravaged nation. This withdrawal has however sent shockwaves among the Ugandan business community operating in the world's youngest nation. Business says the pronouncement has been slow according to the traders here. David Ochaya, the proprietor of Goodline Express, a truck company that transports goods from Kampala to Juba, narrates his fears. Is uh, you people pulling up from Sudan, we are going to suffer. Because these people of Sudan, they don't understand. First of all, they steal us, they beat us. When they cross the border, they change their character. We are there because of UPDF. Ochaya says that the anticipated insecurity, coupled with the high cost of doing business, could force him to rethink his operations in Juba. I don't understand because almost we are we are almost withdrawing from Sudan. Yes, because we are not getting anything. His fears are confirmed by a number of Ugandans who have already closed shop in Juba due to the earlier security situation. The Ugandans, most of them are pulling out. There are few who are going. It's the, it's the nationals, the, the Sudanese, who mostly come and book here and go back. Right now, most of them are, are either sending parcels, goods. They're not going personally, but they're sending goods. The trend has somehow reduced. So we can occasionally wait for two days to load a truck to go to Juba of late. But most times we used to load in a day and uh, travel overnight. We are not happy at all. It's like you know that you are falling in a lake and you are going to suffer is what is going to happen now. UPDF coming out from Sudan is a problem for us, we business people. Amidst these fears, however, the chairman of the traders operating in Uganda and Juba says that there is no need to fear. As long as the UN takes over security and they guarantee the security to our members, to our business community, if security is guaranteed, then we don't have a problem. While the men in uniform may be happy to return home, the business community is calling for their redeployment back to South Sudan. If there could be a way we could talk to the government and the government talk to them, let's add more time for them to stay. Before the crisis broke out in Juba, this place was a beehive of activities. But business is rather slowing down and expected to go down to its lowest with the current working conditions in South Sudan. Now the traders are caught between a rock and a hard place because South Sudan remains a viable market for Ugandan products. Solomon Serwanja, KTN News, Kampala, Uganda.